there are still a lot of questions about the deadly shootout in South St. Pete on Wednesday, but we do know the officer who was shot is now out of the hospital and recovering at home. Today, a spokesperson representing the family of Dominique Harris, the 20 year old who was killed in that shootout with police, is raising concerns along with members of the African People's Socialist Party. 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer shows you some of their concerns and what the sheriff and city leaders had to say about the latest on the investigation. We want to demand accountability and transparency. Both the city of St. Pete and Pinellas Sheriff's Office promised just that. In fact, the reason the Sheriff's Office is investigating the St. Pete police shooting is a direct result of protests and what the community has been calling for. The use of daily force task force was formed so we could show that we're very transparent and we're accountable to the citizens of St. Petersburg. Sheriff Bob Galtieri explained officers fired 50 times hitting Harris with 38 rounds. That's one of the biggest complaints from Harris's family and others concerned. It was like a war zone around here. You had police officers standing on top of cars. It was like Grand Theft Auto. I don't care what he done. It did not constitute him being murdered the way he was. The sheriff explained Harris was surrounded by officers when he pointed this gun out the window and shot a a 49 year old undercover detective twice in the midsection. The sheriff says Harris fired at least four times and St. Pete police returned fire. The officers did exactly what they should have done and what they are trained to do and that is to neutralize the threat and to keep shooting until the threat stops. The next concern why investigators won't make the names of the officers involved public. Release their names, release their rap sheets. I want to know what they've done. The sheriff Thursday did provide the age, length of service, disciplinary records, and if the officers had been involved in past shootings, he also released the name of one of the uniformed officers involved, but explained the others are all undercover. They remain in undercover capacity, and it puts them in jeopardy. It puts them potentially in harm's way. Finally, critics say a lot of the questions could be addressed if officers simply wore body cameras. If we had a body camera on the officers that were here that day, there would be no question about what happened, what transpired that day, because accountability would be served on both parts, both on the people and the police that have been sworn to protect and to serve this community. St. Pete police were already in the process of rolling out their body camera program. The first officers will be getting training next week and by early next year, every uniformed officer in St. Pete will be equipped with a body camera. Now that doesn't help in this case, but investigators say there is surveillance video from the store. We've requested a copy of that video and are told it will be released no earlier than next week. St. Pete police say they were trying to talk to Harris about a homicide in September of 2019 in which he was a person of interest. Back in October, investigators say he got into an argument with a teen and attacked him. That's what gave police probable cause to arrest him, but he tried to take off when officers spotted him on Wednesday, which the sheriff says set off a chain of events that led to the shooting. So let's take a deeper dive right now into how the investigation will work. Right now, Pinellas County Sheriff's Office is leading that investigation, although it involved St. Pete police officers. That's because of the protocol from the county's use of deadly force investigative task force. It ensures an outside agency would investigate deadly force instead of a review within the department involved. Their job is to see if any officers violated state law. Once that's done, then St. Pete police will see if any officers violated department policy. The state attorney's office is also holding its own investigation. We'll of course let you know when they release new information.